Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Viewing the Australian dollar, the market has staged a further climb for the third consecutive day. However, hit the resistance of 7360 and slightly backed away. Still vulnerable to the upside, although the market should still continue to keep an eye on the US dollar, which measures the greenback strength against the basket of six major currencies, as it now hits its highest level since June 2020. With the recent challenge to the top side, the market also braces itself now for the US non-farm payrolls number, which forecasts 400,000 jobs added in February. With the employment now ticking down to 39 from 4%. If we do see a further rejection from this top side of 73.60, I'm expecting the market take the challenge back towards 73.20 and a base of 72.70. However, a break above 73.60 will leave me neutral in the short term. Viewing the monthly outlook, we can see the euros broken further to the downside after crushing 111. In light of the pattern, I feel the market will venture on lower to 109.70 and then possibly down to 108. 850 with 107 50 85 seen as a broader target any rebound should find resistance around 11090 to 11115 the dollar yen back to the top side of the range roughly around 11580 to 11610 25 i still feel this level is heavily guarded by the bears so therefore should see a retreat and eventually look back towards the bottom side of the range at 114.70 after numerous attempts to the upside, the market has broken down for sterling and now back towards a potential target of 132.50 and then rebound from there as we've seen previously from the two stabs and look back towards the top side. To get a further bullish case, we do need to see a break above 134.40. That would give us a view to 135.30. With the sterling leg weaker, the market is challenging its last target of around 195 30 and that is where we are at the moment near enough from there i would expect to see a rebound as there is divergence in the rsi and then does expect to see a challenge back to the 198 region gold is a little bit uncertain as it re-challenges for the third attempt other than that spike at 1950 an overheated adx does call for a move back towards the bottom side of the range and I'd look towards 1920 and then down to 1888 or around 78 to 88. You can see here the market is weak so I feel any upside attempt should eventually fail. After rejecting the top side we're getting a bit more of a bearish case coming through here and I do anticipate the call back to 99.90 or $100 a barrel and reassess. So all, far, all eyes on the non-farm payrolls. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I look forward to speaking to you next week.